What's up? Today we're gonna jump right into it with the first exercise being any kind of row that you wanna do with the first grip of course. I chose the arc rows because I wanted to work on that mid back a bit more during my workout. Keep in mind when I filmed that workout guys, I only had 10 or 20 seconds of rest just by moving my camera around to get the angles and stuff but in that workout guys you really want to focus and rest one or two minutes because it's gonna be an intensity based workout so that workout is really gonna be intense because of course when I filmed that workout guys I ate like 20 or 30 minutes before filming that and man I was feeling pretty fat and it was awful but you know we get the work done regardless of how we feel that day you know don't forget to play with the leverages on the rows guys we really want to do five set of five because we're not only trying to improve our false grip but we still want to maintain a little bit of strength aspect in our training because that workout routine guys is not only improving your force grip but also improving your strength into every exercise that you want to do especially with the rows the next exercise we're gonna do guys is already gonna be challenging and hard enough but if you follow me for a while you should be able to do so it's gonna be some hanging lc force grip pull-ups and if you are not that strong enough i got option for you as well you really want to pull with all your strength and keep the force grip at all time because we are not only trying to improve that aspect or in our training but we want to be strong also you can do the duck variation of it if you're not that strong to do so for now but you know it's only about creativity and playing with the leverages if you cannot perform an exercise that i'm showing you right now you can just swap that out for regular force grip pull up and become stronger that way you know and also guys when you are done with the three reps i suggest you hang a bit at the end that way you also get that force grip hang or support that way you're not only limited by the reps and you can incorporate that into your training without be bored of it you know but anyways guys we're gonna do that for four set of three or five and after we're done with that guys this is gonna be tricky because you're gonna be feeling it into your hands your wrist and such but this is not the end guys we're gonna do a force grip front lever hold and i know guys some of you are gonna be already saying well i can do a front lever we got option for that as well guys if you follow me for a while now you can perform a tuck front lever hold let me show you the reason i tell people to hold their force grip until the end of the movement and not get back into a pronated grip is because when you do those exercise guys you could be doing something like this you could be doing a front lever into a ring muscle up to a ring support hold that for a bit and go back into the front lever that way you are training multiple aspects into one movement and you feel like a complete badass when doing so but also guys perform an exercise that you can hold comfortably for 5 to 15 reps i mean the progression of it because my straddle i can hold it for a decent amount of time with the force grip but not the full front lever yet yeah that face was to show man that was hard let me show you how to do a front lever arm straight tuck yourself into a ball lift from the lats and re retract that scapula man i can't even talk right now i'm sorry and just hold it for time and as soon as the force grip uh, slip back into a pronated grip you just stop okay do not do any more of that but anyways guys you can see how that exercise goes and you just have to hold it for time for four sets i suggest you hold it for at least 10 to 15 seconds and you should be good with that false grip and that phase guys was because it's pretty much done with the false grip into that workout that was only three exercises and now let's do some arms guys let's go this is the only exercise that you will do higher reps it's gonna be some ring bicep curl and we're gonna do two set of 8 to 12 reps and guys this is pretty much easy you've seen me do it a lot on the channel so all i can tell you is curl your own body weight play with the leverages make sure you get the correct amount of reps in and feel those guns working squeeze those biceps and you will make 
an insane amount of gains if doing so because let's face it guys who doesn't want bigger arms i really want some bigger arms i need to eat more of course and just like everybody else we need to put in the work and the results will come if, of course and guys this is an intermediate bicep exercise the ring pelican curl is centric or negative if you prefer we are gonna go for two or three reps and each rep should be eight to ten seconds on your way down that way you get a good stretch in your biceps and you will feel a massive burn in those guns and it should be good enough to do two sets of that as well because you should be fatigued already from all the force grip training we did and yeah guys you can see my form right now i already show that exercise on my channel but you know for newcomers guys you need to copy my form you really need to just control your descent on your way down and feel those guns being stretched out and feel the burn into your biceps and you should be getting up with an insane bicep pump of course always always most of the time when i do that exercise guys it's pretty much guaranteed when i'm doing those to have a great bicep pump now for newcomers guys you need to do some false grip as well because it's often neglected in people's training but you know not on this channel so we're gonna do two sets of 12 to 15 reps that way we get the work done as well and with that guys we're pretty much done with this routine i hope you enjoyed this video guys and i hope it really helps someone out there because when i started training on the rings man there wasn't a lot of video explaining everything like that and if you got suggestion as well on what video should i do next to help you you can drop a comment down below and i will see if i can help with that but anyways, like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. My socials are down below in the description box. Have a great weekend and I will see you the next time I upload. So peace out and bye.